As the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States intensified in the 1950s, all American automakers were infected by space-age design. Ford embraced this fan in 1954 with the Atmos, and in 1955 with the Mystere. Stylists designed the Mystere to make sure its rocket-like lines were fit for takeoff. Everything looked like it belonged in a sci-fi inspired spaceship. The Mystere qualified as a cosmic design. Ford stylus reached the extraterrestrial limits with the Atmos. It didn't sport atomic powered rocket boosters. In fact, it didn't have a motor of any kind. These were only a styling touch. The Atmos never hit the road. Months later, Studebaker entered the space race with the Astral. It was their take on an atomic-powered car for the future. The Astral really didn't have a nuclear power source, but engineers said it was just around the corner. They also said nuclear radiation would be no problem. The Astral would have an emissions guard and to ward off crashes and an energy field. The Astral and other proposed nuclear-powered cars were never produced. People finally realized that an accident might cause a meltdown on Main Street. 